in regards of collecting fond events, I'm not a sprint chick anymore. But from time to time, I have wow moments. And this is one of them. Hey there, welcome. It's me, Emmy from Penventure, and I want to show you what I call my first ever custom pen. I'm almost five years in the hobby, and till this point, I've stayed in the more conservative area of Italian fondo pens, but now I wanted to have a custom pen made. There are a lot of talented individual pen makers that do amazing stuff, but in regards of what I wanted, I've chosen three things for this pen maker to have or to do in order for me to commission a pen from him. First thing on the list is that the person that is going to have my custom pen made, it's going to be the person that has the ability to create something unique in regards of the material. It has to be a creation for example, a resin that he makes, especially for me, or a very interesting material that is going to be created only by him. So, first of all, is the special material that he must make or create. Number two, we have the nib. And here is where I wanted the person that makes my custom pen to be able to offer a very exotic nib also have custom grinds available or custom work to the nib and it has to be something really interesting. And number three, the shape of the pen must be something unique. We don't talk about spin-offs, we don't talk about anything else, we talk originality. Considering those three things, I've chosen to work with Jeremiah Winfield. He is a very, very talented guy. It was a blast to work with him. And he made my custom pen considering those three things. And I'm going to link his Instagram channel right here. You can check it out. He has a ton of stuff. And you just need one swipe up and you can see from the photos, he is at another level. You probably seen his work by now or maybe know about him, but he is doing something that is completely at another level. His work and his talent is just bomb. He's the person that in my opinion is at a whole new level. His work is phenomenal and his style is something that I found to like a lot. He does nibs, he does materials, he does a lot of techniques. Here we can say he pours resins, he is doing uh, lacquers, anything. He is simply making a custom pan from scratch that will fulfill your needs in any way. But also his work is top-notch. I'm lucky because one of my customer is a good, good friend of him and he introduced me to Jeremiah and from the beginning I told Jeremiah that I'm not set on anything. So I want you to create something for myself. You choose the material, you choose the color, you choose everything. If it's okay, I will give you a thumbs up and okay, and we can proceed further. So he came up and showed me something that is simply sublime to say so. This is the pen that he offered me. And this is not something that I got as a gift because I guess it was Jeremiah as a craftsman slash artist. And I always, always admire the work of a craftsman and I don't want anything for free. So this is what I got. And it is a custom pen made from ebonite. And this is where it gets really interesting. This entire pen is lacquered. And Jeremiah used a lot of lacquer layers. We're not talking urushi. 
this is not a problem for me because I think the process is almost the same but the end result is pretty pretty similar although it looks black and I'm going to try to get it in focus for all of you I am going to insert some videos with the pen under proper lightning because the pen has a very very nice reddish color and it's simply amazing as for a nib I opted to have one of his master creations and this is a welded cobra nib which is simply out of this world I was a huge fan of those welded nibs from Sailor the Crosspoint, the King Eagle, the Cobra and they are not easy accessible on the secondary market considering that the person that makes those nibs is not around anymore and probably the price is according to the rarity of such a nib so I commissioned him to make a Cobra nib and a Seagull nib two nibs these are made from Yovo steel nibs they are interchangeable till this point I would like to say that I am totally impressed this is phenomenal I admire you a lot Jeremiah and I want to thank you for this amazing creation this will for sure not be the only custom pen that I will have with Jeremiah he works two jobs he's a very talented guy and already I have proposed him that we will do something together for pen venture in the near future bear with me because we will get to the point when we will have Jeremiah Winfield pens in our store soon this is the new addition that's going to be in my personal pen collection a pen unique in its own way which I will for sure appreciate and use and just to give you a hint this pen has been inked for a number of time three or four times in the past two weeks if I'm not mistaken and it is on my daily rotation it's that good trust me when you have 50 pens and you take this one with you on a daily basis it has to be special and it is I'll put together a video review for you guys so you could see the details of this creation and also we will get to try the two nibs the cobra nib and the seagull nib but if you want to find out more information and have close-up pictures with these two nibs so you could see the craftsmanship of Jeremiah send me a message on whatsapp at this number right here with the word nib and I will send you some pictures and videos with these two nibs in action again you can use this code scan this as you are adding a new contact in whatsapp and it will get you there more quickly this is it thank you for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it if you did so give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to the penventure youtube channel by clicking here and also if you want to see more quality content just like this click here this is a video review of a epic grail pen in my personal pen collection and that is the Lambrou LB6 my name is Amy and I look forward to seeing you next video bye bye take care